Coming up next on The Daily, Hans Bakke has some lineup questions to answer. We'll take a look around the league at some news and notes. And as if you needed it, another reason to go to Vegas this summer. Welcome to The Daily for Tuesday, May 8th with Andrew Wiebe. I'm Jason Seguini. A busy week in MLS rolls on. Of course, this weekend we have the Houston Dynamo opening BBVA Compass Stadium against DC United. But first, the Dynamo headed here to New York to take on the Red Bulls on Wednesday. And a lot of questions about the Red Bulls right now. What's Hans Bakke going to do? Because he has some players coming back into the lineup. But this team has been playing well defensively. Yeah, the past two games, two shutouts. And that's something that the Red Bulls desperately needed after struggling defensively through the the first part of the season. But interestingly enough, those shutouts have come with a makeshift back line. Rafa Marquez, he'll be available for this game and uh, likely not in the defense. So Hans Baca says he's not in the line to take one of those spots. Roy Miller also returns from injury, but that makeshift back line has been doing it. Brandon Barkley had a huge game this past weekend. Marcus Holgerson has started to get comfortable in those surroundings. Connor Laid has played well at left back. And then you have Tyler Ruthven in the middle. It'll be interesting to see what he does. It's, uh, it's hard to believe that he'll switch up too much, especially with the way they've been playing. All right, remember uh, they had that shutout against the LA Galaxy where Juan Agudelo made his return to the lineup as well. So that's another player you could see on Wednesday night. And speaking of those LA Galaxy, they found out yesterday something that I think everybody saw coming. Robbie Keane named to the Ireland squad for the Euros. Yeah, a foregone conclusion. It was just a matter of when rather than if. And now the Galaxy have some questions to answer as they've struggled to put the ball in the back of the net. Something I don't think anybody expected from them when Keane came in last season and then obviously had some Buttles addition but Buttle has not been himself and they're going to need to have him kind of hit that stride as well as Noonan and Barrett. They're going to have to find a, a scoring touch as well for LA to really turn things around. A slow start for them to the 2012 season. Let's take a look around the league with some news and notes starting with Chris Burchill, former LA Galaxy player, signing with the Columbus crew. This one we've been hearing about for a little while, finally official. Yeah, Chris Burchill made his desire to come back to MLS in the U.S. known finally finds that landing spot with the crew, and it's a logical move for them. Right now, Danny O'Rourke playing in the back of that diamond formation, but has had some injury problems the last few years. Good to get an experienced midfielder in that's got time in the middle, knows the other players in this league, and I'm sure that they will use him as the summer progresses. All right, moving over to the Western Conference. No surprise, after three goals last week, Chris Wondolowski named the player of the week. Another player who might have been up for player of the week put on a great performance uh, this past weekend was Nick Raimondo, and he will not be playing on Wednesday. Yeah, shoulder issue going to keep him out. He has not been training this week as a precaution. It sounds like he'll be ready to go on the weekend. However, Kyle Rainish will step in, and although he's been with RS for the past six seasons, this being his sixth, he's only got five appearances and four starts. However, he hasn't got a loss on his record, so I think they'll be confident. They're comfortable with him. They know his game. He's certainly been around those players for a long period of time. All right, one final note from the Portland Timbers. Bright DK headed down to L.A., not traded, though, loaned out to the L.A. Blues. Yeah, a logical move for them. They need to get him some playing time. He hasn't got a lot since... They came into MLS, obviously, with the Fusito trade that adds another forward to the mix, making his road to the, to the field much harder. Finally, before we go, we mentioned Vegas. We found out yesterday a game happening in the World Football Challenge this summer in Las Vegas. Weeby, you going to be there? Uh, I hope so. Real Madrid, Juventus, a huge matchup. Spanish and Italian champions. A big game down there, one they've been trying to get together for the past few years. It just hasn't come off. It looks like they'll finally have top-level soccer there in Las Vegas. All right, that wasn't the only game announced for the World Football Challenge. Real Madrid playing at the LA Galaxy. You can find that schedule on MLSsoccer.com slash WFC slash 2012. All the information about World Football Challenge there. Yesterday, we had Extra Time Radio. Andrew is an all-Canada edition with Jay Demerit and Jesse Marsh on the show. How'd it go? Went very well. I think... The most interesting thing that came out of this one was probably Jay Demerit talking about the process of coming to MLS and making that decision, how he took on the project, and how maybe things didn't go quite the way they wanted them to, to go last year, but things have started to turn around. They're on the uptick, and uh, just the struggles and tribulations that went along with that. All right, well, it's Tuesday, so don't forget power rankings come out on MLSsoccer.com today. Check those out. I know fans uh, like to debate where their team stands. That's all we have for the Daily Today. We'll be back with plenty more tomorrow.